<laughs> Guys, I'm open. Nope, there you go. Oh, oh man, pass, three, I'm giving. 3D, yeah. that's the first, first pass, pass I got. It was from 3D. It wasn't even Isaiah. We never talked about the point guard. <laughs> that right, we're back to basketball. Right, he basketball didn't know one on one. No. <laughs> open court style. We talked to Isaiah as the point guard, but now I want to talk a little bit about two of the most versatile guys that I had the opportunity to play against. And we're going to talk to Steve Smith and Grant Hill. So you other guys, go get some Gatorade. We'll get to you, Shaq. Uh. We'll get to you. <laughs> I can't believe I just sent Shaq off the court. All right. You guys were switchblades when you played. Uh, I just want to ask the, the both of you, who is it today that you watch that's able to s- switch between those positions, do it seamlessly, and affect the game in a positive way? Well, I think there's a lot of guys. I mean, I think obviously LeBron James comes to mind. He's probably the most versatile, most dominant player in the game today. Uh, he can do it on both sides of the ball, can be a point guard, can post up now, can shoot from the perimeter. Uh, really just in terms of versatility uh, and being able to have an effect on the game in a number of different ways, uh, without a doubt, LeBron James. Yeah, I totally agree with, with Grant. It's a guy that can play the point on both sides, defend and offensively. Then obviously he moves to the two and has a three. Um, very good with the basketball, but pretty good like the old days, getting out and filling that lane and running the court without the basketball and making himself a threat without the basketball. I think so many young guys right now at all positions, if they don't have that basketball in their hand, they lose on how to play the game. They're stuck. They stand around. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned transition, Smitty, because when I start to think about what it was that made Grant really, really extra special, along with all the things he did in the half court, was his ability at his size to rebound, take it out in the break, and put pressure on you defensively. So, Grant, if you would talk to us a little bit about your mindset with regards to transition and about what you and I talked about, two phases of your career in transition and how important that is in today's game. Uh, what, what I would, I would try, try to do, at least with the fast, fast break and in my Detroit, Detroit years, is I would go in and rebound. And mm-hmm. defensive rebounding to me was how you started the break. Mm-hmm. And at the small forward position, once I would get it, I always felt those first two dribbles, those first bust out two dribbles, Now, I'm beating all the fours and the fives on both sides of the ball. I'm beating him down the court. I'm coming full speed, and I'm making him make a decision. If he stops me, one of you are open. If he goes back, then, you know, if he goes a little further back, Uh I I may. The young young Grand Hill. Oh, 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 the young Grand Hill. The young Grand Hill. (laughs) But it's all about attacking him and making him make a decision. And if I got 3D over there, I know he's going to knock it in. Well, let's talk. Let let me ask a question. The part, you know, we play against each other so much in the playoffs. What was your mindset? We will always try to push you out. But when you caught it, all of us started to back up because – even though we knew you were going to the cup, there was nothing we could do. And I thought your best thing for you is you never turned your back. I was always taught if a guy, if you can make him turn his back, you have him. You never turned your back. And just talk about me. What, what did you look for? What did you see? Maybe I can go back in that tape and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple things. One, in college, I used to watch the big guys, Magic, and, mm-hmm. and they would dribble like this. Right. And actually the summer after my – senior year in college, Quinn Snyder, who it was head coach in the NBA, said, look, you don't have to, you can play like a guard. You can dance, you can go through your leg crossover, so do that. And so when I would get the ball, everyone would back off because I wasn't a great shooter. But as a slasher, that's what I wanted. Because now I'm going downhill. Now I'm coming to you. I'm coming at you now and making you make a decision. And that's what I wanted. Because I'm coming at you and I... That was it. There it is. You see that, Z? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what's fascinating is, to Smitty's point, you were a north-south guy. And yes. That, yes. The remarkable thing is that you could do those things at full speed, and I don't think a lot of guys really could pick up on doing that at the speeds that you were coming at, you know, being able to well, watch thing, a guy's feet, pick an angle, and be at an advantage. I, I must confess, I, I, I did carry a little bit every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I would do, if I come, at, I, I come at Smitty and I get to here, now I'm going to see what he's going to do. If Smitty's going to wait on that crossover, then I'm going to keep going with a little hesitation. Little hesitation. But if Smitty, like, leans a little bit, then I'm going this way. And also, I used to do this a lot. I'd grab mm. his arm. And that was big. Just yeah. a little, just a little touch. Grab his arm, throw him off balance. Do you see how excited by. Steve Smith is that you just said you grabbed the guy's yeah, arm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, <laughs> this guy 
was the David Copperfield of, of all those moves. That's true. And more magic moves. I might have learned it from him. You might have. Yeah. Well, phase two for you, Grant, was that not leading the break, but then your, your later years from playing in Phoenix was running the floor. Right. How, how much of an advantage can you gain by not having the ball and being a floor runner? Well, I mean, I think you got to have a point guard who, can, who, who will make the right pass to you. And I played with Nash from Phoenix, and he was a guy that wasn't afraid to, to try things. And so, you know, when you got Amari Stoudemire and Steve Nash and Big Shaq, you know, the ball's not coming your way a whole lot. So if you want to get, <laughs> get touches, you better get out and run. <laughs> yeah. So the same principle, though, when the ball would go up, just take off. Just take off running, run the court hard, and you have to run every time. It's not, well, I'm going to run this time, and I'll, I'll jog up the next two or three times. It's a habit where every time you're running on, and you may not get it, you may open up an opportunity for a teammate, but the running teams are the teams that make it a habit every time they run, and eventually you wore a team out. The one thing I would love for you to break down, Smitty, is the one-two pick and roll, the, the, the vaunted one-two pick and roll, you and Mookie, where you guys would just absolutely demolish guys who are not like size with you, put you down in the block, take advantage of that. You can grab Zeke and Reggie. I would grab Zeke and some, Reggie. Some one-two pick and roll on the elbow. So Reggie is being uh, Mookie Blaylock with the basketball, and I got to give a lot of credit to Lenny Wilkins. Um, my whole thing was is if I'm setting a pick and roll on a one-two screen and roll, he comes off, and you're right, I like to grab. So make we can force the switch. <laughs> and then for me is, and I know a lot of guys, especially the big fella, I learned from this all bigs, I never just ran down and post. My first thing was to try to punish. So I'm trying to hit. So I'm trying to hit. <laughs> so I'm trying to hit. And, I don't know what you're talking about. The whole thing was, come here, and most guys' first thing was, let me go fast because I got a small. But for me, what me and Mook always talked about, let me make Isaiah play. Let me take Isaiah's leg. Isaiah, come. Now, Grant, you come down. And then we used to do this. Throw it back in, Mook. Make Isaiah play so I can wear him down. And then obviously, with Mookie being there, when you decide to commit, I throw it to Mookie for a shot. First down! <laughs> Traveling. Isaiah Smith. just went into Coach Van Gundy. Right yes, yeah. What are you doing, but Isaiah? For me and Mook was to wear down this point guard. And also, we ran two one pick and rolls the same exact way. So we come off pick and roll. You were really never taught how to play pick and roll defensively as a point guard. Maybe you, but most point guards, Zeke, I come off, he never he helped. So, yeah. <laughs> never got communication. <laughs> don't get mine. Yeah. They got his. They got his. Yeah, so they got mine. I don't see a lot of two one pick and rolls anymore because right. most of it, he doesn't know how to show. He doesn't know how to slide again under. And then the last thing for me, like I was saying, chasing these guys was not my forte. So guarding to Reggie Miller, the only way I could try to have an advantage of Reggie was try to post up. And I think all, you know, and everybody, I post up a little bit different. They tell you go here, but if I'm here and Reg started to push me out, I'm gonna end here. So I was always taught from the late Johnny Ghost, I'm gonna try to find his chin and I'm gonna ride him here and grab my shorts and post here. Now when I catch dirty it, coach, man. <laughs> well, come on now. <laughs> Once I catch it here, right. Red's got to make a decision. If I go here, and if he jumps, I'm jumping into him. And he was the best. I think nowadays a lot of people don't understand is you don't have to shoot. If Red's plays great defense, you got to jump into him, but you got to like contact the post up as a two. But but Smitty, you used to get it like sometimes in the mid post. You didn't know as a defender, it was like don't leave Joe Dumars on an island against Smitty, the height differential. I I never knew when to come. And that's where I go back to Isaiah because I think eyes was – I'm always looking at you and understand. Reggie's different. He's 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, right. So there's no just shooting over Reg. But if it's 6'4", if right, right. I'm looking at you, right? I can get Joe up. Well, maybe not Joe. He was pretty good. <laughs> Most <laughs> too good. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Smaller. You, you said Joe. That's not right. Lindsay, 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 Lindsay Hunter. That's Lindsay Hunter. The, yeah, Lindsay. Little Lindsay. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay yeah, little Lindsay too. too little. Because I'm here. If I can get him up, but I'm the same thing as Shaq. You coming. I'm coming. You're I'm coming here because I had passing ability. That's all I really wanted was to bait. Yeah. Steve, I know a lot of people talk about you in the post, but I want you to explain the herky-jerky move. I mean, you know, a lot of guys are going to remember you from playing in the post, but I remember that go-to herky-jerky move that people somehow went for and you got open every time. Can you, can you explain how and why that move? Well, I, I think the first thing is, obviously, guarding Isaiah – most two guards don't get this close. So give me a little space, Isaiah. So <laughs> I was always taught, right, 
the, the one thing, if you're dribbling a basketball, none of us has seen a guy jump while you're guarding. Mm -hmm. So if I'm here and I jump, but when I land, that was the, your eyes have never seen anybody. You're playing basketball and he jumps and then you're gone. A little bit of a carry, Grant, like you. Finally, Steve Smith admits the secret to the Smitty. It's illegal. It's illegal. All right, we're going to try to catch up with some of the game's best shooters and talk about working off screens and spotting up when we come back. Jack, uh -oh. Smitty. Yeah, you got it now. Oh, you better it out. Uh, and you want to <laughs> act like you're getting held. When really you're doing the holding, so you're like ref, ref, ref. So I put my hands up, ref. So all the all what I'm really trying to do is set up Smitty to get him off balance. 